What's up YouTube? Today I'm back with another video. I've been meaning to upload a video, but I had one recorded and it was, it was just too windy outside, so I ain't gonna drop that. Today we're gonna be talking about taking showers in boot camp. The first shower that you take in boot camp is gonna be the most awkward shower you've ever taken in your life, I guarantee you. For me it was like 60 of us. I don't know about everybody else. Even in the sports that I play, I never like had to like shower with nobody else. And then that type of stuff. The first shower you take is the second day that you get there, usually, like for me. Cause I got there that night, seven o'clock that night, and you don't take a shower till like the next day. The first time, I think we got an hour. We got an hour to take a shower. But after that, it usually drop down to about 45 minutes. So you think about it. If you got a shower about 60 people in 45 minutes, how long do you usually take to uh, take a shower yourself at home? Well, like, like, like 20 minutes? Average, probably about 20 minutes. So, if you imagine if every person takes 20 minutes, that's that's way longer than 45 minutes. And you, you'll learn different methods to like get everybody showered quicker. It's like one method we did was like, they call it like the car wash or whatever. And it's where everybody be, everybody be lined up. And um, well not lined up, but you waiting to get in. So as you do, you feel me? All right, so the, the water might be going and you get on, you get in the, you get in the water, you, you, you rinse on and then you step to the side. And then you lather up, you wash, you do everything you gotta do. And then after you wash yourself, you hop under the water just to rinse off. So you, it's, they call it a Hollywood shower when you just like sitting under the water. You just, you know, we ain't got time for all that. You just get in, boom, 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 you know what I mean? Then hop, hop, hop under the water again, rinse off, and dip. It's only about 10 shower heads running at a time. Cause like for me, it was like one, like one post, they got like, like five of them and another post they got five of them. It only, it seemed like only one post, like the, only the first post had hot water. The other one would always be cold. So everybody be trying to wait on that one, but if it ain't enough time, you just gotta hop in the cold one. But like, it's real kind of weird sometimes cause you'll be, you'll be doing your thing, you know, washing, or you'll be waiting to get under the water and like a dude, like, we either be standing a little too close or somebody trying to get out and they like rub up on you or something. That, that's the worst right there. Like a dude, like you're not paying attention or something like that. And a dude come by and he like, he like rub up on you. Nah, son, you, you be like, sure, they get a five for me. Yeah. But uh, going to book, I, would, I wouldn't stress about, I would, that's one thing I wouldn't stress about the shower. When I was going, I was like, oh my gosh, I ain't, I'm not trying to take a shower with all these people. I'm not trying to do all that. But it's, it's really not that big of a deal. Like if you were about people looking at you and all that stuff, I ain't gonna lie, people gonna look at you probably, but it's not like, they're not looking at you like like they trying. I don't know. They just like if you if you in the way, you feel me? They gonna look at you, but it's not like I don't think nobody like really like checking nobody out. And if they are, I mean, I gotta be looking at you for you to mute and be for me to notice that you really looking at me. So if you just mind your business and you shouldn't have no problems, or at least no ignorance is bliss. People ask me about like what type of soap you get to use. They give you soap in your in your sea bag, and you're not getting like no Dove all that type of stuff you getting like i didn't like it was like it was like swabs and at first we started off a boot camp where we would bring in our own tube and we would and we would just use our own personal soaps that they gave us but after that we had like a community locker of so i mean of uh soap and we would all put in there and you just go grab one so it'd be like 10 out at a time so that way everybody not using it using theirs using theirs we just all grab like five of them or, or like something like that and we all be using the same one just grab it oh and washcloths make sure like when the first time you get to go to the next make sure you buy extra washcloths i cannot stress that enough and don't buy a loofah a loofah is not it's not worth it in boot camp because it's not places where you can dry it for us it, i mean for me it wasn't because the only place they would allow it is in my av drawer and first you don't want to put nothing wet in your in your drawer it's not gonna be able to dry properly so just don't even buy extra washcloths because y'all all have the same color washcloths and if you make a mistake and like leave it in the shower you don't want to you don't want to go back and be like, is this mine? So I don't even like to play, take them risks. I don't want to use nobody else's washcloth. If you do, that's on you, but I don't, I don't want to do that. So I just suggest buy extra washcloths because if you lose it, you be carefree. Like, I don't know, yeah. It might be mine, it might not be. I'm just going to use the new one I got. Oh, here, here's a tip. After you get out of the shower, it, it kind of time up the shower. After you get out of the shower, for me, I, I found that I would put two pair of socks on. I would put a white pair of socks on and I would put a black pair of socks on, depending on whatever they wanted me to wear. When we get out, like let's say they want to put on PT gear after that, nah, had a black socks on, then the white socks, you know. But if we had to put like uh, our black socks on, then I put the white socks and the black socks because 
First of all, extra cushioning for your feet is always helpful. Second, you can you can change like real quick. So if they be like, everybody hurry and get uh, in, in your PT gear. You might run back to the right. Everybody else got find some socks, throw them on and all that type of stuff. You just take your black socks off, boom, done. Oh, and in boot camp, when you're in the shower, don't don't be that weird dude that be like maintaining eye contact. Don't don't be that guy. I remember one time I was in the shower. You know, you know, you know that feeling when somebody just looking, like somebody staring at you or something. So yeah, you know, I, I, I look up and dude like just like, like staring. And, and guess what your head had to say? Hey, like my abs coming in, huh? Not the, not the place, not the place whatsoever. I'm not interested in your abs. I'm not interested in your conversation. I ain't interested in none of that stuff you talking about. I'm just trying to get out. Oh, and another one. My gosh, don't, don't be the guy to get caught. You gonna do it, but just don't be the one to get caught. All right, so when you get out the shower, they want you to put like your shirt on. They want you to walk. All right, cause like the shower, let's say the shower like right here. And then it's like a like a little passageway where like if you outside of the, the head, you can see through that, you can see that passage. So you gotta go through this passageway to get like to the urinals and all that type of stuff. Don't be the guy to get caught walking through the passageway either naked or even without your shirt off because they want you to put your uh have your shirt on when you go across the p-way because you never know who will be uh looking through the p-way because we got like female fqa qa quality assurance like they they write you demerit chits stuff like that so don't be the one that have some female chief fqa on the other side of the passageway and she look in just happen to look over and see you running through but naked don't be that dude you gonna get the whole division beat make sure after you get out of the shower so your your towels have to be stenciled it has your name on it and your division make sure it's your towel because i remember one time i get out the shower it happens it happens to everybody man i remember one time i was in the shower and i get out and I, i'm like dang bro i put my towel right here and I, i'm looking around i'm like i'm like yo who got my towel so then uh dude was like all right i'm gonna go see and then i got your towel dude standing on top of my towel like like dude didn't draw it off with it and he's standing he got it on the deck and it's standing on it like drying his feet off and he asked what you'll say he'll say oh you still uh you want this one or you you want to use mine i'm like neither dog I'm not, i don't want your towel i don't want that towel but it may end up going out to my rack and grab like a, the extra towel that i had when you get out the shower make sure you dry your feet off good it might be good for when you go to the next to buy like the little spray it help dry it and all that type of stuff you always be wearing socks stuff like that so if you put moist feet in sock and not only are your feet price thing you might start rubbing the skin off the back of your heel or you might you know just like different different little foot problems that you don't really want to deal with in boot camp now this one right here it may be self-explanatory but do not piss in the shower i had a dude we was we were all in it because all right mind you it's a pole and it got like five sprinklers off of it right so everybody is around this pole and you know at the bottom like it's like a little puddle like the water collecting at the bottom right I'm, I'm washing i'm washing i'm washing right i'm not the type to i mean i don't never really look down like i don't never really like look 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 down right but i heard something like it wasn't like the same pressure that the shower water was like i'm like somebody sprinkler like like really going dumb or something like it's like like it was like really hitting the water i looked down dude full fledged like just pissing in the puddle and we all stand in the puddle with our shower shoes on and we flip out in the shower like people was ready was ready to spank him dude really gonna piss in the shower and we all sharing like that same puddle of water at the bottom all right i just want to reiterate again that that should not be on your mind going into boot camp you shouldn't be stressing about the shower it's not that big of a deal nobody worry about how you look no one really cares just go in there do your business you wash up and just get out don't even think about it everybody gonna be uncomfortable the first first couple times but by the end of boot camp you you, you gonna be in there singing cadence in the shower everybody in there singing you know stuff like that if you like this video make sure you drop a like hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell down there if you want to make sure you see every every uh know when i post oh my instagram gonna be either up here or up here i hope you have a good day out that little mouse because i'm an albatross